So we've all heard the adage that absence makes the heart grow fonder, but is the same thing true in the day-to-day -day business world on a sales team? Well, indeed it is. I'd like to share a story with you today starring direct dial phone numbers. And what you'll come away with is an understanding that with this important facet of contact data, there's a lot more than meets the eye. In this whiteboard session, you're going to learn that the presence of direct dial phone numbers has a couple of consequences for your sales team that you maybe weren't thinking about in uh, enough detail. So this story starts with me having a very fortunate opportunity at a young age to work for a company and a third generation entrepreneur that taught me as well as everybody else on my team the way to really sell business to business over the phone. This was pre technology stack, this was pre-AI, this was just bang the phones, get decision makers, sell deals. And one of the first things that he made the team aware of was the distinction between a direct dial phone number and a switchboard number or just a general office line for the people that you're trying to reach out to. And he said, you definitely want to have the direct dial phone number and therefore we were trained, we were brought up to kind of be able to seek out that direct dial phone number and to have the direct dial phone number for all the folks that were, that were on our call list. Well, as the story proceeds, uh, we met with a lot of success such that the founder was able at one point to exit the business and investor partners came into the equation. And when that happened, one of the first orders of business was to scale up the size of the team. So we went from being sort of like 15 people in a call boutique to 45 people in, in more of a inside sales body shop. And one of the things that happened with that fast level of growth was that we started to lose our edge a little bit. And in one of the areas that was most impacted by this was that sort of research that we used to do on our own to get these direct dial phone numbers. Pretty soon, with so many new people in the equation, we weren't really good at that anymore. That was no longer a source of competitive advantage. And so, I learned firsthand what it was like to have direct dial phone numbers and then just as quickly I learned what it was like to not have them. And I'm here to tell you as the leader of that sales team at the time when the ability to procure and utilize direct dial phone numbers diminished, so did our sales numbers. Um, and there's a couple of things there that I want to break down. The first thing is maybe the obvious. When you think about direct dial phone numbers, you think, well, that would obviously be a uh, a, a time saver, right? Overtly, there's a lot of statistics that have been published. Number one is you are likely to make four to six times as many connections when you're working with direct dial phone numbers than without. And that means the difference between if I'm on the phone for an hour, instead of getting three connections and conversations in an hour, I could get 12 connections in an hour or more. So there's the on the surface level obviousness of that, but then underneath the surface, there's also something, which is in a world where your sales team doesn't have direct dial phone numbers, it invites call reluctance. Call reluctance dresses itself up in many ways, but when somebody doesn't have the data that they need to get into the accounts that they want to get into or need to get into, next thing you know, the mind starts telling itself a story of how, well, I just have to do a little bit more research. I just have to do a little bit more searching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that phone number. And next thing you know, phone calls aren't made and selling doesn't happen because underneath the surface of not having direct dial phone numbers, there's not just that lost productivity, but there's that invitation towards call reluctance. We learned that firsthand. Um, secondly, uh, in terms of direct dial phone numbers, I think that Every sales team out there would prefer to talk to decision makers all day long uh, as part of the sales process. Those are, after all, the folks that sign the check or ultimately say yes to bring something on board. Well, we'd all like to sell that way, but in, an, in the absence of direct dial phone numbers, you're left with the choice of, hey, I have to just talk to whoever I can talk to. And if I have switchboard numbers or main office lines, I'm fooling myself and I know it if I think that I'm gonna be able to get decision makers uh, into these conversations. 
they're hard enough to reach when you have their direct dial phone number. I'm surely not standing a chance to reach these folks if I don't have a direct dial phone number. So there's also the empowering aspect of direct dials in that when a team knows reliably that they're going to have the very best and most direct access to the contacts that they're trying to engage with, well, all of a sudden, that allows the selling motion to become more about starting with the decision makers and, of course, talking to other stakeholders as well. But selling top down is a way more efficient way to build a sales team and hit big numbers than to come at it from the reverse and sell bottoms up. Thirdly, is there's the motivational aspect. Direct dial phone numbers go right to the heart of a sales team's psyche, both individually and at the whole team level. And one of the things that we noticed when we kind of lost our way and then found a partner uh, in Discover Org to kind of deliver those direct dial phone numbers that we had been so used to early on, well, all of a sudden, something magical happened on our sales floor. All of a sudden, I had a comp competitive spirit that wasn't there when we were floundering without the direct now phone numbers. And once that started, next thing you know, guys and gals couldn't get to work quickly enough. They were ready to get on the phones. They were ready to, to, to run through walls because they believed in the data and they saw their way to a bigger commission check and everything that that would allow them to do in their lives. Okay, so to recap then, just like with an iceberg, when it comes to direct dial phone numbers, there's more than meets the eye. There's not just the ability to save your team a lot of time and wasted energy, but to also thwart call reluctance in the process. There's the ability to empower your team, not just to know that they can engage with decision makers, but to switch their throwing motion so that every sales cycle starts with decision makers. And then thirdly, motivating your team so that guys and gals will be ready to run through a wall, confident with how they can see their commission check grow and, and how they can fuel each other competitively to reach new ground with your sales numbers. So I hope you enjoyed this whiteboard session. Uh, if you have anything else to say about direct dial phone numbers or you, know, you wanna like or comment, please do. And if this is valuable, hopefully you subscribe to our channel. Thanks, have a great day.